We put up a fight at the beginning. It just wasn't enough. And Kevin De Bruyne can lift up the shield. See, are this season's champions. Hello, welcome to another episode of this Everton career mode on FIFA 23. This is episode 9. So yeah, this is the episode after pre-season. So I'm just going to quickly fill you guys in. In my eyes, we had a successful pre-season. We managed to bag a 3-1 victory against FC Cone. Beat Sampdoria 1-0. We also uh, lost 1-0 to Hellas Verona FC. So because of those results, we ended up finishing third in the European Continental Shield. And uh, yeah, we finished third with six points. And back to the calendar, we also lost 4-1 to Manchester City as well in the Community Shield. We were outplayed and peppered all over the field, if I'm honest with you. So these are our three players that we signed in pre-season. Nico Williams, Wrench and Kasper Schmeichel. Um, in case you're wondering, I'm only going over this because people may have skipped over pre-season. So in today's episode, you should expect us to play against Leicester City, Watford and Manchester City. So yeah, out of all three of those games, I'm expecting to pick up at least, at least four points. I would say four points. I know it sounds negative, but four points should do. Not even four, actually, maybe seven. We should aim for seven. Okay, let's push our luck. Let's aim for a win against Watford, Leicester City, and probably get a draw against Manchester City. So because Gallagher's gone back to Chelsea, we definitely need a booster in the midfield. So my idea is to go in for someone that's got good technical ability. They can take corners and uh, free kicks. So yeah, we're definitely lacking in the set piece department. So this is how the search is going so far. Um, we haven't got anyone like that plays centrally in the midfield. Um, only uh, Soler and Shabotzalai, however the Hungarian, he plays for RB Leipzig, they're in Champions League and Soler plays for PSG, they're in Champions League, so there's no way those two are going to make a step down just to play for little old Everton, no offence to Everton fans, but yeah, it's just not going to happen. And also, I've done something a little bit cheeky, I've also uh, added a search for players that have a contract expiring uh, by the end of the season, so we can see if we can get anyone on a free, um, Euros Rashic. Uh, for Valencia, he's six foot four central midfielder. We are scouting him. A Cesar Montez, we do need a centre back, so we can see if we can bring him in in this window. And same with Viktor uh, Segankov. I am not confident on Dwight McNeil, if I'm honest with you. I used him in preseason. He doesn't feel too great. So Zagankov is uh, one of the options as well. I know we just signed Nico Williams, but. This team definitely needs an overhaul. And last but not least, uh, Wellington Dano is the player that I am targeting as a left back. We are waiting for his scout report to come back. I am confident we'll be able to get this deal over the line if we put in an adequate enough bid. So before we head off into match day one in the Premier League campaign, we have the press conference just before the very first game. And uh, they are asking me, is there pressure on me to qualify for the Champions League? There definitely is, but I am going to try and appear confident for the media. I'm going to say, well, I'm confident we're good enough. Even though I know I'm bluffing, um, we definitely have a lot of areas we need to patch up. And there's a lot of um, players that mentally aren't ready for the Champions League, let alone Europa League. But um, they're not, yeah, they're just not ready. They're definitely not ready. But we are going to try our best. Like we did last season, we didn't expect to get anything more than a bottom half of the table finish. And we've ended up finishing in the top half of the table, almost qualifying for the Champions League, automat not Champions League, Europa League automatically. And uh, we ended up winning the FA Cup and got an automatic spot. So yeah, anything is possible. We just need to put our minds to it. So it's match day one, and we are going to be at home at Goodison Park. We're facing off against Leicester City. Hopefully we can get a victory on day one. Let's see what we're made of. Let's see if we can go ahead and impress in front of the home crowd. Match day one, Premier League campaign. And this is how we are going to kick off. We have Pickford in goal. Max Ahrens is at the back with Keane, uh, Godfrey and Mitchell. In the middle, we have Rodriguez, Onana and Ali. Up top, we have Gray, Cavalier and Gordon. On the bench, we have Moza Ken, Decore, Davis, Williams, Wrench, uh, Holgate and Schmeichel facing off against his former club. So for Leicester City, they have Iverson and goal. All Brighton's at the back with Sionchu, Faze and uh, guy up in the middle they have uh, and diddy uh they have Saka on the right madison uh telemans and barnes on the left they have a uh, vardy up top on his own so they're playing a four five one i got a bit confused there uh, they do have a decent bench and uh yeah we are expecting a really big um encounter between the two sides so yeah we're about to kick off let's get ready to rumble 
We have our star man up top. Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Let's go. We're attacking to the right. Let's just see our attacker to the left. Not too sure about this camera angle, but we're going to make do of it. So, um, yeah, if you guys tuned in to the last episode, we did a uh, struggle against Manchester City. When we actually faced off in a competitive game, didn't look too comfortable, too confident. We did take the lead, but everything, everything slipped and dropped from there on out. So, yeah, let's see if uh, my players have the bottle to put in a performance when it matters. Max Aarons puts the ball in, cleared away by Sionchu. Deli Ali. We are going to change this camera angle. I don't really like it. Oh, ball goes in. Bicycle kick. Saved. Godfrey to Keane. We are going to try to move this ball quicker than we did against City. Or Manchester City. Nice ball over the top. Calvin Lewin. Goal number one. 11 minutes in. We've opened the scoring in front of our home crowd. And Dominic Calvin Lewin continues. Where he left off from the end of last season with this patient play, patient build up. Rodriguez proving me wrong. I thought he wouldn't be good uh, playing in the number 10 role. I thought he wouldn't be able to create chances. And he's done exactly that on the first day of the season. Yeah, I wish this game actually gave it to Calvin Lewin. It would have made much more sense in that moment. There's a Vardy up against Michael Keane. Vardy. On this right hand side. Akayo Saka. Saka takes a shot. Save. Made from Jordan Pickford. On. These one twos. We can do them all day long. One two between Gray and Calvin Lewin. Gray is off on a run. Gray is through on goal. Gray. He's missed it. He's really been denied by Iverson. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna come to regret that if they equalise. Mark my words. All dinked. Faze gets it cleared. One. Half time. Half time. We didn't make it in the in the end, but we've got a one 0 lead to be proud of. A great start to the campaign. Dominic Calvert Lewin has given us the edge going into the interval. Look at that. Kulazewski's gone to Liverpool. This team, they really mean business. Them losing the title on the final day to City has really hurt them. So, yeah, they're definitely going up. Trying to recruit firepower for this season. Sorry for anyone that has them at the beginning of the season. But you know you get that bounce when you bring new players in. So, we are making some changes. Uh, Dominic Calvert-Lewin and Gordon, they're off. Nico Williams and Moise Ken, they are gracing us with their presence on the field. Nico Williams making his home debut in the league. See um, if the young man could uh, impress with the final few moments that he has. As uh, Harvey Barnes takes a shot and Pickford can easily deal with it. Moise Ken. Moise Ken. Ball play forward. Oh, try to try to roll it into the opposite corner. But the Leicester defender makes the block. It's a corner kick and it remains 1-0. We have eight minutes remaining in the game. Kelechi in, Nacho's on. And uh, they're taken off all Brighton. So, Brendan Rodgers, he definitely wants to push to grab a late goal. They had a more than three minutes. They're definitely going to pipe. Okay, two minutes. We should be able to survive that. Here's uh, James Madison. Is it to his right ear, Nacho. Saka. Puts the ball in. White lock. Oh, about to say... About to say my last words. We should be able to see it out. And Vardy's header goes straight into the arms of Pickford. And it's cleared up the field. And the whistle's blown for 1-0. We finally, finally got a good result at the start of the, of the campaign. Last season, we only managed to draw against Southampton. And we didn't play well. I feel like uh, we were the better side throughout this game. We created a few chances here and there. Uh, we took the one chance that was clear cut. So we have a new target for the channel, which is 500 subscribers. So please remember to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content and if you're new. Also, if you can kindly hit that notification bell just so you're notified when I'm about to upload. Okay, so now that you've done that, let's get back to the video. Oh, 
Oh, we're gonna be under some pressure. Okay, so Moise, Moise Ken, um, we have an offer from Atletico Madrid. I did say of a side that was greater than us comes in for one of our top strikers. We will entertain it. Um, he does have a 70 million release clause, so we are going to get them to trigger that, so we can get full value for Moise Ken. We don't want it. We don't want anything less than 60 million or 50 million. It's an inflated market. It's only right we ask for what's um, what's due to us. Um, I'm sure Everton have played a lot, paid a lot of uh, inflated prices over the last couple of years. But Wobi is uh, definitely the prime example. Okay, so yeah, finally going to say farewell to Alan. We tried to get rid of him last January. It didn't work out. Finally going to say au revoir to the Brazilian. We're going to have 18 million extra in our bank account to spend. That's if they give us the full allocation of it. But yeah, we're definitely going to go in for a central midfielder. Okay, so we're going to address the central midfield role. Uh, Giovanni Lo Celso is a player that we've been looking at. We've waited for the scout report to land and it's landed just now. Um, he is a really talented central midfielder. He's got good ball control um, ability. Dribbling is good. Uh, free, kick, free kick accuracy is up there. His tackling is uh, decent. Um, he's also got a pass on him. Long pass is 83, short pass. Uh, 84 let's see his vision his vision is 87 so yeah we don't really need to say anything more we've put in a 35 million bid because uh, i feel like that's probably the most uh we should go in for him and we that's do need to bear in mind though that we do need a left back wellington dano is definitely on our minds um we just got the report back uh and his overall is 81 so he's definitely going to push Tariq mitchell for his spot i don't want to pay anything more than a 30 million i'm going to go in with um i'll say a 24 million bid and let's see what uh this side uh, at leco minero let's see what they say about that and then um yeah once we get those deals over the line we can possibly pursue kim in jay um hopefully we sell one or two more players so we can facilitate that move and that uh, without hurting our budget too much so we're going to head off into match day two we're going to be facing off against watford at vicarage road and this is our starting 11 we have jordan pickford in goal at the back we have aaron's keen uh godfrey and mitchell in the middle we have uh, garner coming in as the number six ali is on his left as the number eight on the right is amiri as a hybrid 10 slash eight and we also have williams on the right hand side making his first start in the premier league dominic calvert lewin despite the interest uh, from Real Madrid, despite the negotiations, we are going to go in with him up top. And then we have Gordon on the left-hand side. I'm really confident that we can go into this game and get a good result. Hopefully, we can smash them by a convincing amount. Okay, so we're attacking to the left. And uh, Watford, they're attacking to the right. We, uh, we're coming to this game in good favour. Got three points to our name at the moment. That 1-0 victory over Leicester City should give us enough confidence to go ahead and uh, get this win over the line. As Amiri takes the shot, it goes wide on the post. Keeper didn't even bother reacting to it. He was so certain it wasn't going in. Uh, I don't know what's happened to this guy's confidence, but he's not he's not turned up at um at Goodison Park with, with good form. He struggled to get the best out of him. Just don't know what to do with him in the, in the end. Watford inside our penalty area with Pesetto. The cross is blocked by Mitchell. It's an easy catch for Pickford. Keep going. Mary. Runs in behind. Amiri takes a shot. This guy, he's just not cut out for this league, man. He's not cut out for this league. Terrible finishing. It's, uh, Max Ahrens. I'm going to play out from the back again. Williams. Try to be a bit more direct as Williams. Amiri. Left foot shot. Again, no luck. No luck from the German midfielder. 
Ball goes in. Kavalun with the head up. Let's go. Gordon just going to travel with the ball. Williams running forward. Going to play the ball in behind. Williams can take it down. Williams takes a shot. He gets a goal. He gets a goal on his first start in the Premier League. It's 1-0 against Watford. Everton have taken the lead. We need to do that more often. We can't do it once every five opportunities because we are going to be punished in this league. We can get someone that can play the final pass and try to be as on point as possible. Then we're going to be well within a shout to challenge for Champions League. At, at least try to challenge. We're playing... Um, I won't say we're playing good. Our passing's not great. Ball retention isn't great. But our defence, I mean, is immense. Uh, Pickford again playing his socks off. Playing his gloves off, I mean. And um, yeah, with Nico Williams, he got that goal. I won't say it wasn't deserved. It definitely was. But um, our conversion definitely needs to improve. Yeah, Williams, he really shagged that opportunity there. Settle. Jao Pedro takes a shot and Pitford makes the save. Uh Watford they're trying to they're trying to get um get something together, put something together and fight back. But we need to stand our ground and continue to have our keep our foot on their necks. Can two changes in our central midfield. We are bringing on um Onana and Decore. We're taking off a Miri and Ghana. Ghana, I, I must say, he does go hiding. I'm not too sure how long I can endure um, like his his mentality for. Doesn't get himself involved. His passing isn't as great as I thought it would be. Ball winning is a... Uh, he hasn't really put himself in to, to challenges like that. So, uh, yeah, let's just give him some time this season. See how he gets on. But Anana, definitely looking forward to using him in this game. I feel like he can help us open up Watford a bit. It's the idea behind the change and obviously the quarry with his energy. It's always a positive. PMB shouldn't really be on the field if I'm honest with you. Nana does well to intercept his pass. The quarry plays a pass into Calvert Lewin. He's running in behind Calvert Lewin. Has the ball on his left foot, makes it 2 0. Dominic Calvert Lewin. He's only doing himself justice by bagging himself a goal. Real Madrid really close, watching them closely to see if they can get the deal over the line. And the more he scores, I feel like it just validates our asking price. It's 2-0. So the goal scorer himself is going to make his way off the field. Moise, Moise Ken is uh, going to replace him. A game where we can rotate for him to start like games and stuff. But right now, Max Ahrens is doing very well on that right-hand side. The defence... Getting forward and tracking back. It says recovery pace that does it for me. Well done, Godfrey. Kalu. Well done again. This time it was keen. Danger still there. Shot. There's a straight at Pickford and uh, we can go forward. See if we can hit them on a the break. Nice ball over the top. Moise Ken takes it down. Moise Ken with the shot and Okoye with the save. End-to-end -end stuff. Onana. Decore. Deli Ali. Decore. Onana. Beautiful football. Beautiful football. Anyone there for the cutback? There we go. The score is now 3-0. Moise can off the bench. And so is Wrench. To get a goal, goal contribution. He got the assist. Moise Ken with the goal. We got the three points anyway. I'm quite disappointed with the officiating in this game, if I'm honest with you. I feel like uh, Kayembe should have been sent off. But that's neither here nor there. We got a nice victory. Uh, so that's six and six. We have a tough challenge to cap off this episode. We have Manchester City, who we have already battered us 4-1 uh, at the end of preseason in the Community Shield. Let's see if we can uh, hold out for a draw. I'll actually go on to shock them okay so we have an inbox message from james garner himself uh so it reads like this i know that eventually you're going to be looking for a new defensive midfielder but i think i can do a job for you in that position if you give me the chance i'm just gonna say this is your chance that last game i don't think he uh gave himself a um 
I would say a good um a good reference point. I feel like uh, he could have done a bit better in getting the ball back, winning it back for us. Uh, he wasn't that tidy in possession. He gave the ball away quite a lot. His range of passing passing isn't com like you can't compare it to Onana. Onana can switch play without having to add too much power behind it. Whereas uh, Ghana, you kind of have to force him to make like a 10 yard pass. And uh, we definitely need to improve on him as a deep line playmaker. And uh, let's see if that could help him, I guess. But yeah, he's not going to get too many chances this season. So yeah, Real Madrid, the crazy side, the crazy team, the team with all the money, the bottomless bank account, they are going to offer, or they have offered the 80 million that we requested for the services of Dominic Calvert-Lewin. And we're going to go ahead and be a man of our word. We are going to accept that. So potentially we could be losing our main striker. Last season, he contributed to over 50 goals and we're going to have to replace that in short notice. Um, Nil Mope, we cannot sanction this deal. We've already got a striker leaving. Now we have to go into the market and find an adequate replacement. And uh, we're probably going to find someone that suits our system best. Calvert-Lewin, he's a really talented player. So despite him not fitting the way I want him to play, he's still good enough to get that amount of goals. So yeah, it's going to be a massive loss. I've said a lot of negative things about him during the save. But it's a love-hate relationship. And at the end of the day, we've got to be grateful for what he's done in a short amount of time under my management. But on the other end, we do have some good news. We have uh, two deals that can be clinched. Uh, we have Lo Celso, uh, 35 million was enough uh, to agree terms with Tottenham. And then we have uh, Wellington Dano, the left back from Brazil that plays for Atletico Mineiro. We're going to accept both of the proposals from uh, Tottenham and Mineiro. We are going to delegate contracts. So, uh, Chelsea, that shouldn't be an issue getting him over the line. I feel like uh, his wages is going to be a lot for this club at least. Okay, so at the minute, we're currently sitting second place right behind Manchester City and it's based on goal difference. We have six points as well as uh, five other, uh, four other teams in Brighton, Leeds and City and Manchester United. So yeah, there's only two games in, but like I said, um, it, it actually bodes well for us to actually start uh, get off to a good start because then yeah we're going to go into mo most of our games confident i feel like uh the more we lost last season the more deflated and the more um tactically naive we uh we seem to be going into games I, I just felt like i didn't care about how we approached the game i was just so desperate to get a result that i didn't bother with tactics going into this season now getting two wins straight away is definitely a confidence boost the type of football that we're playing as well definitely confident that we can give Manchester City a fight but um, yeah I'm not going to be naive I'm not going to I'm not stupid I definitely know we're the underdogs and we're, I definitely know that Man City are capable of repeating what they've done to us in the Community Shield so yeah let's get into this game it's the last game of this episode last uh, piece of gameplay I would say of this episode and then uh, yeah let's try to bag a victory or get a draw So at home in Goodison Park, we are going to be entertaining the league champions, Manchester City. Uh, yeah, we already know what we're up, what we're up against. It's just a, it's just about getting our heads down and trying to give our all. Um, yeah, given the fact that we've got smashed four one, I mean we don't have too much to lose, except three points this time around, but. Yeah, man, we just we just gotta play. We just gotta play football. We can't we can't sit back and hope that the that they're not gonna score because they're definitely gonna score. We just probably have to outscore them or score as much as them. So this is the lineup. Everton uh, have Pickford in goal. Max Aaron's is at the back with Keane, Godfrey, and Mitchell in the middle with Deli Ali or Nana and Decore. Up top we have Ken, Williams, and Gray. Uh, on the bench, we have Calvert-Lewin, Rodriguez, Tom Davis. We also have Gordon, Holgate, Wrench, and Schmeichel. So Manchester City, they line up like this. Edison is in goal. Cabor is at the back with Laporte, Diaz, and Cancelo. In the middle, they have De Bruyne, uh, Rodri, and De Jong. On the right, they have Alvarez. Down the middle, they have Haaland. And then on the left, they have Foden. On the bench, they have Ortega, Stone, Silva, Delap, Akanji, Phillips, Tedich. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Let's get this game kicked off. And uh, yeah, 
Calvalu and he doesn't get a start. But this could potentially be his last appearance for us if he does come off the bench. Uh, we get this game kicked off. We're attacking to the right. City are attacking to the left. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be really cautious on the ball. I am still going to try play direct, direct passes, but I'm going to pick and choose the moments I play it. Before, I'll just be like a scattergun. Pretty much like Bruno. I'll, I'll play a ball, see if it goes through. If it doesn't, eh. If it does, yay. But um, yeah, we can't play like that against City because, uh, yeah, once we give them the ball, it's hard to get it back from them. As uh, This probably could be a perfect example. It's Cancelo coming from this uh, left-hand side. Cancelo shielding the ball well. Max Aaron's concentration is uh, really good at the minute. Do well to intercept. Oh, no, we played ourselves into problems. It's 1-0 to the to Man City. We've already conceded. I honestly don't understand why I, I decided to play out from the back. I should have just put my foot through it and clear it. I played my way into trouble, basically. <laughs> okay, not the perfect start. Not the perfect start. I mean, it's the first we're probably going to see that on camera where I directly give the opposition a goal. Kevin De Bruyne opens the scoring for City. Not done our, ourselves any favours just now. But it's on us to fight back. We do have firepower. I'm not just going to sit down and uh, take it. We didn't do that in the community shield. They were just too good. So we're, just, we're certainly not going to do that in the league. Especially not in front of the home crowd. Well done. Long shot. Pickford deals with that. Can throw this ball out. Nico Williams. Play this ball over the top. Come on, Moise Ken, man. Make it beyond him. I'm tired of my strikers not making it beyond the defender. Like, they stop right behind the defender when the ball's probably going to land over the defender's head. Like, just please make a run and do it properly. <laughs> That's all I ask of my strikers. Just make proper runs, not half-hearted runs. Come on, keep going. This guy slows down in the wrong moments. Decore to get the equaliser up again. Players slowing down. Kabore makes the makes the block. It's Foden. Come on, let's go, man. Come on, man. They're leaving too many gaps in behind. They're giving us too many opportunities for us to not take one. And Nico Williams does exactly that. It's 1-1. One, one. We're back into the game. I feel like the last 20 minutes, we look like the better side. And uh, finally, we're being rewarded for our, um, our ability to keep the ball and hit them on the break. Nico Williams really composed. Who says, who says every player that comes from La Liga needs a calling off period? He just comes straight into the league and performs right on the spot. Williams Jr. Well done, Michael Keane. Battling for that ball. Can't tell me that this guy isn't a worthy captain, man. He definitely battles for that badge. He can have a bad day, but on this bad day, I know he's going to throw himself into tackles, charge down shots, put his head where most people won't even put their foot. Michael Keane, he's a leader, true leader. Uh, let's stop singing his praises though, because City are um, they're coming for blood. Growing up, ends up giving the ball away. Williams. Uh, for for a moment, it looks like he has Cancelo beat, but we don't we can't underestimate Cancelo's recovery pace. There's a uh, Ali, the Corey. Gray, two one, two one. We are leading against City. It's two one. On the stroke of half time, the Maru Gray in the right place at the right time just coolly slots into the bottom left corner. Oh my goodness me. See, they looked like they were going to score on the other end. The Brown up, wasteful in possession. We win the ball back, charge down the field. And uh, Nico Williams does well to cut the ball back into Ali. Ali finds Decore, who also finds Gray, and he slots it away. Okay, so the second half is underway. We're attacking to the left. City are attacking to the right. We're live at Goodison Park, where it's 2-1 to Everton. Um, so, yeah, De Bruyne, he opened the scoring from a mistake at the back early on in the game. Well, he's a Ken. He equalized for us. And then we got the goal from Damaru Great. Oh, no. Yep. 
trying to recap and then yeah they come out and score the equalizer the young effortlessly just taps it in no one's there marking him so it's 2-2 two -two now uh, i kind of regret giving you guys a, a quick summary of the first half because uh yeah we've gone and conceded it's now 2-2 two -two. but um shouldn't be that easy to concede and we've scored we've scored just like that we've scored it shouldn't be that easy to concede shouldn't be this easy to score but it's happened it's 3-2 there's a uh, De Jong Holland. his pass is intercepted and he's a uh, really aggressive trying to get trying to get the ball back from Aaron's play out from the back has Williams Deli Ali. they need to be careful that they don't leave too many gaps trying to chase the game the Corey left foot shot the Corey he scores he scores. We're going to ignore that little weird glitch that happened as Decore takes the ball down. It's 4-2 to Everton. Um, speaking of the glitch, I, I noticed there was a collision between Decore and a player. And the, the other player went flying. <laughs> uh, good days. Good days. Look at this. Oh, there's Rodri. Takes the ball down. Left foot shot. I think Ed Edison does get a hand to it. It's just not enough. Alvarez De Bruyne plays a ball in behind and uh, it's intercepted by Godfrey Demaru Gray 1-2 between him and uh, Moise Ken Demaru Gray as Moise Ken as an option he's taken out but Williams is there for the rebound and it's 5-2 a shocking result for Pep Guardiola and Manchester City I mean, this is a minor hiccup for the title challenge. But um, is that the... Ex well, we're definitely doing well. We're definitely doing well to push it to them and take it to them. I won't say that these goals are coming easily. But um, we're not working as hard as I thought I had, to, I had to do just to get into this position. It's 5-2. So we're making four changes at once. Ken, Gray. There's a lot of people that are coming off. All I know is Calvert-Lewin's on, <laughs> Calvert on for his farewell. Rodriguez is on as well. So is Gordon. So City have a corner down this right-hand side. De Bruyne takes it short. Here's uh, Julian Alvarez. He's going to run into the box. Julian Alvarez is in the box. Tries to take a shot. Pickford with the save. And uh, they've got a consolation. Laporte knocks in a header from Haaland. Haaland tried to go for goal himself. But uh, Laporte did the, did the David Nugent thing. You know, uh, when David Nugent knocked in uh, Jermaine Defoe's shot for England. Stole, he basically stole an England goal. <laughs> We're making our changes as well. Amadou Onana. He's being replaced by Tom Davis. Take this corner. Rodriguez. Godfrey. Godfrey does well in possession. And Cello just definitely trying to win this ball back. He's really eager. But that's what makes it even better. The fact that he can't touch the ball and he really wants it. <laughs> we are going to try to create some room and space. I'm surprised they're giving me so much time on the ball. I'm not, I don't normally get this much time to breathe on the ball. But there we have it. It looks like this game is uh, going to come to its conclusion. I don't know how I've done it, guys. I really don't. I don't know how we've managed this, to get a victory over Manchester City. And we haven't stolen one either. We played really well. We've outplayed them. Tactically, I'll say they've had more of the ball. But we've taken our chances. And our, it seems like our tactics have worked against Pep Guardiola and City. As we come away with our third victory in a row. Perfect start to the season. Gonna assume that we've taken the top spot as well. Imagine that. After three games, we on top of the table. Last season, we were in like, I think we were bottom three after three games last season. But yeah, let's head off into the menu. Uh, let's get the deals over the line. And uh, yeah, hopefully we have a good deadline day. For further updates outside of the channel, please be sure to follow me on Instagram at RomelHD so you get further updates such as me premiering a video, if I'm recording a video or making new content and also when I'm about to upload. So follow me on Instagram at RomelHD. Calvert-Lewin has completed his move to Real Madrid. 
he's now going to be sporting that number 10 jersey. Okay, so his official Dominic Calvert-Lewin is now making his way out of the building, out of the training facilities. Time to say farewell to him and wish him all the best. So yeah, we're pleased to announce the arrival of Lo Celso. Uh, he's being greeted by Jordan Pickford and my assistant manager. We're going to have Wellington Darno on the same day, being greeted the same way. <laughs> same day, same way. <laughs> Wellington Darno, we signed him for 26 million from uh, Atletico Mineiro. So yeah, hopefully him and Mitchell are going to get on fine on that left-hand side. And last but not least, our very last signing in the window on deadline day. Seven hours to go. We bought in Luimo Boa Santos from Santos for 16 million. His overall is 79. He's a Brazilian striker who's good at finessing, good at dribbling, and I'm looking forward to using him as a backup uh, number nine. Hopefully, he can hit the ground running in this Everton jersey. Welcome to Everton, Luimo Boa Santos. Okay, so that concludes our business in the window and this is how we're planning to shape up for majority of the season. As you can see, we are looking really good. Um, most positions have good enough depth, um, adequate depth as well, not just uh, random players here and there. These are players that look like they're good enough to go the distance in Europa League. And uh, if we continue to rebuild the squad the way we have so far this season, I really don't see why we cannot try to push um push our boundaries to try a challenge for top four next season but this season strictly going the distance in Europa League and maybe challenging for more silverware so we're in the calendar now and uh, this is what you should expect from episode 10 Aston Villa away from home Athens at home match day one in Europa League that's going to be fun and then we have Conte and Tottenham Hotspur that's also going to be fun the last time we played against them we beat them in extra time in the FA Cup so let's see if we can continue our winning ways against Conte. We may end the episode off with a bonus game against Luton Town Football Club, but but it's most likely going to be played off camera because of the stature of the club. Um, but yeah, I hope to see you guys in that next episode. And on this note, I'd like to thank you guys for showing support for the channel. If you made it this far in this episode, please remember to hit that like button, sub to the channel, also smash the notification bell so you're notified when I'm going live premiering a video or if i've uploaded one so follow me on instagram at ramel hd also sus subscribe to my my second page ramel hd plays uh yeah i'm going to be playing rpg games story based games on that channel instead of this one so we don't confuse the subs um yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure that majority of the people on this channel are here for football content mainly so i don't want to I get that all muddled up so yeah let me know what you think of the results in this episode let me know what you think of the uh, the signings the people that i've moved on uh, could i've done certain things better um me personally i feel like we've had a really good window we stuck to our guns we got rid of the players who we said we was going to get rid of we sold um one big player in calvert lewin but we made big money from that sell and uh yeah we're able to basically re build a squad in our image without really worrying about the budget too much but um yeah we can get a lot of good players talented players for a good price it's just about searching and i think we've done done some good business definitely but yeah i hope to see you guys in episode uh, 10 take care for now peace